My name is Katie and I'm a pelvic health physiotherapist. So I see patients who have pelvic floor dysfunction and how that shows itself is that they may have bladder problems, they may have bowel problems, they can have pelvic pain, they can have prolapse, they can have sexual dysfunction. Up to a third of women will experience some problems with their pelvic floor during their lifetime and this is more common after childbirth. You may not be aware, but your pelvic floor can be affected by all sorts of things in your lifestyle, such as carrying a little bit of extra weight, being constipated, heavy lifting, smoking or coughing. The good news is that you don't have to put up with these symptoms and regardless of whatever age you are, you can do some pelvic floor exercises and you can address these problems and improve the symptoms. So to do pelvic floor exercise, what you need to be doing is try to contract around your back passage as if you've got wind. At the same time, squeeze at the front as if you're trying to stop a wee. You can't do one end without the other. So as long as you're tightening one side, your pelvic floor will be working. There are three ways that you can check if your pelvic floor is working. The first is you can have a look. So you can take a mirror down below and have a look and see if you can see the muscle moving. Or you can palpate the muscle. So you can put a finger or a thumb into the vagina and feel the muscle tightening. Or if you're sexually active, you can squeeze on your partner and they'll be able to feel if you're doing your pelvic floor. So to do your pelvic floor exercises, we need to start by doing some long holds. So you squeeze your pelvic floor as we've described, pull your back passage in and squeeze at the front. And then you want to hold that squeeze, if you can, for up to 10 seconds. Now you may not be able to do 10 seconds to start with, so you can build up over time as you get stronger. Then you need to be able to relax the muscle completely. And it's just as important to relax it as it is to be able to contract it. So you see how many times you can do those long hold squeezes for. You also need to be able to work your pelvic floor very quickly because if you cough or sneeze, it needs to have a response or a quick response. So to practice this part of the exercise, tighten your pelvic floor as hard as you can and immediately let go. Try to repeat this up to 10 times in short, fast bursts. You may find these difficult to do in standing to start with, so you may want to do them just in lying or sitting. And as you get stronger, you can progress into standing. So now you've learned how to do your pelvic floor exercises, you need to be doing these on a regular basis. So exercise only works if you work at it. So we need you to do your exercises three or four times a day, and you may need to do them for three to four months before they become truly effective. Once you've achieved your potential, you then need to maintain that exercise by doing your exercises for life. In the same way that you clean your teeth twice a day, you should think nothing of doing your pelvic floor exercises twice a day. <laughs>